So here was the original control. You want to tell us a little bit about this? Was, this was the original page. Yeah, this is the original page. This is when I was hired. This is we were spending uh, $50,000 a month to send people to this page. It was conversion was terrible. It was very company focused. I uh, didn't really talk about any of the stuff we did. Uh, if anyone here, I mean, you probably know someone who suffers from a drug addiction or an alcoholism or anything like that. It's a long, long disease to deal with before you actually seek out treatment. And so you come to this page, and if you can think about it, I mean, I'll give you the typical story we tell. I've got a husband, he wraps his Mercedes around a telephone pole, he's been suffering from alcoholism for a long time, our bank accounts are getting skinny, I've got to deal with this issue, otherwise we're getting divorced, the kids are going to be a mess, all this stuff's coming down as crisis mode right now. And now they're looking for a facility, and this is what they came to. We show them a bunch of horses, we show them a pool, and we tell them nothing about what we do. Oh, you, got, you got best practices. You got, you got best practices, you got the call to action above oh, yeah, the fold. The no, you got, that's right, you put the call to action above the fold, you know, like the Boston Globe said the other day, uh, Another marketing industry expert, it was great. They, they really dissed the Boston Globe for not having the call to action above the fold, and we kind of had the backstory. Right, yeah. so, so you had the call to action above the fold, beautiful. And then here, well, no, no, that's actually not the page. Let me try to see if I can, well, I can't really get that. that that's a long page, John. I could not, it took me three slides to get that page in. <laughs> and so if we look at them side by side, that treatment's more than twice as long, and the call to action's at the bottom. No one is going to scroll down <laughs> to see that. Right. Um, okay, of course, the punchline, no one's laughing. You guys have been here too long. You see what works. Um, but when, when I talked to John, I mean, that's what I was surprised by. I was like, oh, this is great. I wrote a marketing experiment's blog post about it. I said, it's another example. The call to action doesn't have to be above the fold. And John said, you were missing the big picture. And that's when you really had your aha moment about what the difference was, right? Yeah, yeah. So the, we were sitting there pushing all this money to this ad, and this facility is like our preeminent facility. So we live and die by this brand. And we're putting all this money into it, and I'm getting beat up every day. Why aren't we getting more patients? Why aren't we getting more patients? I mean, everything is it's just pressure and pressure. And we run this long page, and what we're finding out was, oh my god, we've been pushing our clinical staff. So we staff more doctors per patient than a cardiac unit, just to kind of give you a sense. I mean, this is like hard stuff to treat, because it's all behavioral health. And so we're pushing eight to one doctor ratio. We're pushing, you've got a, a trained therapist, a trained nurse, all dedicated to you. That's what we thought worked. And we run this page and all of a sudden we realize, here's a, you know, again, I'll go back to my example. Here's a wife whose husband is in probably the ER room and guess what she's gonna do? She's gonna send him away for 30 days to rehab treatment. What do you think she's worried about? You think she's worried about the doctor patient ratio? She doesn't care. She's like, can I trust you with my husband? Can I trust you with my loved one? What are you going to do to him? Are you going to judge him? Are you going to criticize him? And by the way, I'm spending, you know, ungodly amount of money to help him over the years. Is this going to work? So all of a sudden, we stopped and we're like, wait a minute. We're not pushing units here. We have a trust issue. We have a whole, like, family crisis issue. And we're walking into the middle of it. And we're telling you we can help you. So all of a sudden, we, everything stopped. Like the whole marketing team went, whoa, we've got to change everything in our pages, how we're talking about it. And we go out and talk to the facility, and we go to the facility, and I say, hey, by the way, when you talk to someone, a patient you know, who's talking about coming in, what's the first thing they say to you? And they go, oh, yeah, well, they want to know if this is safe. They want to know if, this, if they can trust us. And so then I'd say, okay, so when we get to the marketing pages, and they're like, oh, yeah, our doctor ratio. So they all of a sudden put on this marketing hat, and they change everything they're saying. And I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. That's not what we're talking about. I mean, this is their first acquaintance with us and they care about trust and we're sitting there trying to push some feature set way down low so it was kind of, it was a big aha for us mm -hmm.